In the Islamic Republic, the supreme leader has ultimate authority uh, over the appointments and uh, dismissals of ministers. Now, once the supreme leader made his position clear, the president then did something that is unprecedented in this country. Ahmadinejad stopped going to work for 10 days. He missed a number of cabinet meetings. And there were a lot of criticism from various different camps in this country about his behavior. He was being accused of allegedly defying the supreme leader. Now, that is something that is uh, equivalent to defying God in this country. Then, allegedly, after a meeting with the Supreme Leader and the President, where he was urged uh, to return to work, Ahmadinejad did on May 1st. He attended the cabinet meeting on that day. Following that meeting, on May 5th, a number of arrests were made. Up to 25 people were arrested uh, by the Revolutionary Guards, according to various reports on websites. Now, these people are uh, apparently very close to Ahmadinejad's former chief of staff, uh, Mashai, who has had a very um, large part to play in all of this. He is very close to the president and they're apparently related, uh, with their um, children are married to one another. So the arrests that were made are, were uh, of the staff that worked for Mashai and they're being accused of uh, being magicians or invoking jinn or spirits. They're, uh, they're not, it's not clear as to whether or where they will stand trial, where they will, they will, they will appear in court. But what is clear is that this uh, dispute that started out between the president and the intelligence minister is far from over.